All of you guys who play Valorant on your laptop or low-end desktop, this video is for all of you guys where we are going to talk about how you can get better performance, improve FPS, fix stuttering and overall improve the quality of your gameplay whenever you are playing the game. I am going to show you guys some tactics that many YouTubers won't show you guys out there so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright. Step number one is always downloading the game on an SSD. SSD is a solid state drive and if it is not present in your computer or your laptop, I'd highly recommend you guys to invest on one, go out to the market, get an SSD and install it on your device. SSDs are the fastest storage devices and it will definitely help you guys to fix a lot of stuttering if you are playing on a old hard disk. Step number two is the essential windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC and then once you are here you have to look up for gaming then you have to go to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background which makes your PC a little bit less efficient for gaming. Right after that you have to go down to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. This will disable unnecessary notifications and services running in the background which will help you to improve your gaming performance. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings and in here you have to click on change default graphic settings and then over here you need to make sure to enable both of these options. First one is hardware excluded GPU scheduling and second one is optimization for windowed games. This will help you to reduce your input latency as well as utilize your GPU for gaming. Then you have to come down over here go to browse and then you need to add valorant into this list i've already added that so you need to go over to options then select high performance and then click on save once it is done close out your settings and let's move to the next step well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Alright, next step is changing the Valorant config settings and for that you need to press Windows and R key together, look up for app data. Once you are here, go over to local, simply search for Valorant in here, then go to saved, then go to config and in here you have to select date modified, right after that the profile which opens up on the top is the one which you have played very recently. You need to simply open this thing up, go over to windows and in here you will find game user settings right INI. What you have to do is right click on that, go over to options, open up with notepad and once this thing opens up, in here you have to make sure to change a few settings. First one is B use vsync, you have to set this thing to false. Then you have to come down to frame rate limit and you have to set this thing to 3 frames minus your current refresh rate. To know your refresh rate, you can simply search for display settings on your PC and once you are here, you have to scroll a little bit down, go over to advanced display and then check for your display resolution. For me, it's 239.96, roughly around 240 hertz. So minus 3, it comes down to 237. So I need to set this thing to 237. Right after that, you have to scroll down and use HDR display output. You have to turn this thing to false as well. Then the most important part lies under the scalability groups. The resolution quality, if you are running a really low end computer, a very old laptop, you need to set this thing to somewhere between 85 and 90. This will take off a little bit of your resolution in the game. That 
means your game will look a little bit more pixelated but then it will boost your fps drastically i personally like playing on 90 on my low end laptop right after that all of these settings the view distance quality everything you have to set this thing to one i don't recommend you guys to set this thing to zero because zero stands for auto and setting it to zero will lead your computer to automatically select the best values right after that once everything is done you have to press ctrl and s key together so this settings are saved close it right click on the game user settings go to properties and make sure to click on read only just so the game do not automatically rechanges your values whenever you open it up simply click on apply and that should do the task next step is available for windows pro users this won't work on windows home edition so for that you need to search for local group policy editor so you need to search for local group policy editor right away and once this opens up you have to extend this a bit so we can deep dive into this one now over here you have to look for computer configuration open up administrative templates then you have to go over to windows components in here you have to find an app privacy which will be available right on the top in here you have to look for let apps run in the background okay so just found it right over here let windows apps run in the background double click to open this thing up and once you are here you need to click on enabled so enabled means that the settings you are going to apply in this will be applied and then under default for all apps click on force deny this is the newest way to disable apps running in the background in windows 11 this option is available in settings on windows 10 but then in windows 11 you have to do it this way once it is done simply click on apply and then close the local group policy editor next step is disabling memory compression and for that you need to open up powershell on your pc and make sure to run this thing as an administrator now once this opens up you need to simply type in this command get hyphen mma gent and this will give you the status of your memory now in here you have to make sure that your memory compression is set to false if this is true there might be chances that you are losing a lot of performance in game to set this thing to false you can simply type in this simple command that is disable hyphen mma gent hyphen mc make sure to leave the appropriate space in between there is no space between this whole thing you have to press a space bar between both of these commands and once you enter it it will be set to false and if you want to enable this thing back you can always go back and change this disable to enable and that will re-enable your memory compression memory compression services are always running in the background which consumes a lot of cpu usage and disabling that will give you instant fps boost next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to simply search for create a restore point on your pc once you are here look for local disk c click on create and name it valorant just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your systems and integrity if anything goes wrong or you want to restore every setting back to normal you can always do it without any data loss so simply click on create and let it do the job now next step is the valorant laptop fps pack or the valorant laptop optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below if you guys are facing any issues along this pack you can always join my discord server for the same you can simply open this thing up and you'll find in four simple folders the first one is cpu priority and in here you'll find amd and intel cpu priority now you need to identify the cpu that you're using i currently use an amd processor if you're using an intel one you have to run the intel cpu priority if you're using an amd cpu you have to run the amd cpu priority this will prioritize your cpu to utilize maximum values and maximum cores whenever you're playing the game right after that go over to the second folder which is the valorant laptop priority and for this i would like to know your computer specifications or your laptop specifications down in the comments below if you guys do not know the system information you can always search for system information on your pc and this will tell you your processor and your installed physical memory which are the two things that i require so just comment down in the comment section below and i'll be telling you guys which one that you need to choose from next is the ram optimization 
and once again i use 32 gb ram it could be different for you so you have to find your memory from the list i have provided right over here there are a lot of presets and if you want to reset them back to default you can also do it right away last one is the laptop optimization tweaks and in here i have left some of the registry files that will help you disable background applications disable unnecessary services disable downloading maps transparencies and improve system responsiveness as a whole so if you guys like to do that for maximum performance i definitely suggest you guys to go ahead with that you can simply double click to run them and if you want to re-enable any service back you can always re-enable from the revert registries folder once you're done with the fps pack you can always open up valorant and follow the best in game settings Okay, so once you are in your game, you have to go over to settings and in the general section, go over to raw input buffer and make sure to turn this thing on. Right after that, go over to video section and in general, make sure that you're always playing on full screen and your resolution is your native monitor resolution. Right after that, you'll find NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. You have to keep it on plus boost and rest all of the settings are automatically set from the config files. That is all for this video guys. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do the like and smash the subscribe button. Also, we have introduced new channel membership to the channel. So if you guys want to show some love and support towards the content, you can always get a membership and support me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.